All right. Hi, everybody. We're back for the final segment of the Neurodiversity Matters online conference presented by Spectrum Theater Ensemble. Thank you so much for everyone who joined us for this two day conference. And um, just know that the videos are going to be available from now on on the SCE Facebook page, as well as in on HowlRound's archive. So if you want to check out any of the panels, workshops or presentations, you can find it there. And in the coming weeks, you'll be able to find it on our website, which is www.stensemble.org. So uh, as the last thing for the festival, I am very happy to announce uh, we've had plays submitted by playwrights on the spectrum from around the country over the last six months. And we read them as a company. And for the festival, we have selected four of these plays which will be featured in our Neurodivergent Play Series uh, as part of the Neurodiversity New Play Festival, which will be happening in Providence, Rhode Island this summer um, from July through August and performing on July 31st, August 1st, and August 2nd, uh, either online or in person, depending on what the situation is uh, with the COVID virus at the time. Um, so without further ado, the first play to be that will be featured in the festival is Light Switch by Dave Osmondson, uh, who was one of our featured panelists. Then we have two plays by playwright Michael John Carley, who is another panelist and moderator we had. Uh, it's Piro's Magic Radio, a fairy tale in one act, and The Age of Belief, a play in one act, both by Michael John Carley. And then finally, the fourth play that will be featured in our Neurodivergent play series is a simulation of the mundane bedlam that is sensory overload, a short play by Charles Hughes. So congratulations to all of those playwrights. Uh, we are so excited to work with you and any playwrights that are on the spectrum uh, that want to submit work to be considered in the future, uh, please contact us at info at stensemble.org and we will always be looking uh, to develop new work and uh, promote the work of playwrights on the spectrum and neurodiverse artists of all kinds. So um, that's the announcement. So to close out the festival, first, I wanna just uh, do a few quick thank yous. First to Thea Rogers and HowlRound, uh, who have been so generous and helpful in co-hosting this conference. Um, they've been amazing and thank you so much. Uh, we'd also like to thank uh, Spartina Consulting, which helps us develop the conference uh, with funding from the Rhode Island Foundation. Uh, also Rhode Island State Council for the Arts, which uh, helps support the Neurodiversity uh, Matters Conference, as well as the Neurodiversity New Play Festival. The Prone Family Foundation, which has supported the Neurodiversity New Play Festival and other work for SDE. And the Carter Family Fund, uh, which is supporting the new Neurodiversity New Play Festival. And in addition to that, also the Nordson Foundation, which has been a supporter for the festival as well. Um, thank you to all of our panelists, moderators, workshop presenters, and for all of you who tuned in and asked questions. It was such a great experience to host this. Uh, obviously, this is our first time, uh, but we are already talking and looking forward to creating more panels to share with the public in the future. Um, so, uh, to close out the event, I just want to share one thing that I've been thinking about uh, as I hear all these amazing people talk, is that um, this company started uh, through a grant from TCG and the Andrew Mellon Foundation back uh, in uh, the early development even started in 2016. And the first project we ever did as a company was a device piece. Uh, device theater is where you start without a script and then create work that puts words on top in the end. Um, so the way we started each of those segments and our rehearsals and the work we created there was just using the simple term saying, we begin so that the other actors and audience could know when the, act, the moment was starting. And that's where we were at the time. We were beginning and beginning these uh, to explore neurodiversity inclusion in theater. Uh, and that journey has been going on now for four years and has really uh, created all of these different discussions and topics that you saw during the conference. So 
the reason why I thought about that is because we're in an interesting time. Um, the COVID virus has made us all um, adjust our lives and uh, be indoors a lot more and not with each other as a community, which I can tell you I miss tremendously. Um, but we made a conscious decision when that happened that we didn't want to pause. Uh, and certainly we don't want to end what we're doing because these discussions are great, but they need the, they just began. And so I'm going to leave you with this tonight is that we've begun and we've shared with you the work that STE has created and the advocacy that we promote over our development over the past few years. But now we continue. Thank you guys so much. Have a great evening. And we hope to see you at the Neurodiversity New Play Festival this summer. Good night.